Hey guys, Hook to Clash here, and today I've got an amazing video for you all. Today I've got a base link video from the very top of Legends League. As you can see here, Crisco, after four days in Legends, this isn't a live uh, leaderboard tally, but this was after four days in Legends, so enough time that, you know, it isn't just luck at this point. Crisco was number two in the world, because we're going to completely discount whoever the hell that guy is. Um... He was number two in the world, and he told me it was all based on his defense. And today, I've got three replays for you from three pro players um, who all tried to hit Crisco's base and were unable to do so. So let's get straight into it here. The first one, Bernal. Bernal, it, Bob Lee Swagger, is Bernal's account. And as we can see, he's coming in with his standard Queen Charge Lalo. Now, we got to see Bernal on the final day of Legends. We saw how good he was. So how does Crisco get a defense here? First of all, this is the base. It's probably not what you were expecting, though. A lot of top legends have these ugly anti-2 bases, but people have gotten so good at tripling them up in high legends that I wouldn't actually recommend running an anti-2 once you get to the very top. You're better off running these diamond-style bases, which, admittedly, you're never going to one-star them, but they're going to be much tougher to triple. So what does Bernal do here? So he starts the queen at 9 o'clock, and he's trying to get her to go up. And if I know Bernal, he's going to try and queen charge the town hall and get those two scatters all from the same compartment. And he's starting the queen down here so he can get rid of a lot of the flanking damage off the queen. As you can see, he uses the RC early. Unfortunately, he loses her very early, but she gets rid of the ground bow as well. Won't do much to the enemy RC, but it's a nice little start to the attack here for Bernal. So, and it also sets up really good Lalo pathing from the bottom, aside from the sweeper facing there. But we know Bernal, that's not going to stop him. There goes the first wall break, and as you can see, lots of Sams right there. So Bernal is ready. Crisco has got this entry baited. Now, in terms of this base, uh, Crisco did not actually build it himself. It's just something he's run with really good success. So I'm not trying to claim he built it. There might be someone out there that actually built this base. Um, and if you did, kudos to you, because this is an unbelievably, unbelievably good base, sorry. And, uh, hopefully we can prove that today. So there goes the town hall down nice and early into the attack. Look at this CC, by the way. That's something we're going to focus on here. He isn't bringing, like, a hound, ice golem, or a bunch of headhunters. He's just running a bunch of archers, a few gobs, and uh, two ice golems there. And it's working really well. It's just a bit of an ugly CC to deal with. Um, you're definitely not expecting that. And it does a lot better against those E-drag attacks or just any air attack. Because, obviously, most CCs uh, these days on defense only target ground. Your triple ice golem, your hound ice golem, and the like. Uh, really, headhunters are the only things that ever target air and defensive CCs these days. So, Crisco trying to run something different in Legends here, and clearly it's been working for him. But as you can see, Bernal's been Bernal. He's, uh, his queen's got through the base. She's still got her ability. He's still got most of her healers. So, uh, how can uh, Crisco possibly get the defense here? Also, look how far the king got around the base. Absolutely insane. Pops the warden. Uh, this sweeper's doing a great job, though, of holding up this entire attack. And look at that! The queen dies through her ability. You might call that really unlucky. And, you know, Crisco got lucky to get the defense here. But he, but poor Bernal had to pop the queen ability. And the giant bomb went off and killed her shortly thereafter. To be honest, this core multi was going to be a pain anyway. As you can see, it's taken down most of his troops. And suddenly something that was looking so good has gone down very quickly. And that's exactly what you want from your bases in Legends League. You want to punish the mistakes of the attacker. And that's what happened here. Unlucky to Bernal, honestly, it was a very good attack. Uh, this will be the closest attack we see on the base, and yes, I know there was a bit of luck in it, but honestly, any defense against Bernal means the base is insane. Okay, we're into the second replay here, and it's Boom! So Bernal and Boom, two of the biggest names in Clash of Clans, tried to hit Krishka's base, and they both failed in different ways. As we can see, Boom coming in with his standard uh, army here. He's got the Blizz Lalo. So where is he going to Blizz? Now, obviously, we know where all the Sams are on this base for the most part. So it'll be interesting to see if Boom falls for a bait or if he's just unable to triple the base. So as you can see, Hound from the bottom immediately finds a Sam. A few loons behind just to clear out of defenses from Boom there. And the Blimp is still going. How far does he want it to go? Look at how far this went. 
That's actually an amazing blimp. That first invis is great as well because the super wizards hug the wall and they're able to shoot uh, a lot in that first set. My first invis when I'm doing attacks, honestly, I'm not too good at it and that's why I struggle with the attack. But anyways, Blizzard's going strong. He, look, he doesn't get an elite um, like cut out of the base, but he has gotten a core scatter and pulled the CC. Now, the double ice golem, he's just going to pull to 12 o'clock. And he's going to try and sui for the town hall here. And he's probably going to go for the other scatter as well. King starts over there. RC goes straight into a Tesla. But that's fine. She absolutely eats that up. The Lassie behind is trying to take out the lab. And does it just in time. Lassie can be handy like that. Creating funnels behind the RC. Anyways, King and Queen. He has to pop the King ability whilst the Ice Golem still freezing him. That's unfortunate. King's rage is kind of wasted there. Now, look at it. He's not going to wall break into the town hall here. There's just no need. Uh, it just means he'll take extra damage that, honestly, he has no uh, he has no need to take. RC's in the core there. Pops her ability, and he uses another invis for her because she gets down the ground boat. So, honestly, like, the Sui hasn't gone great, but his spell placement here, uh, boom, has been fantastic. Now, he doesn't get that scatter down, so he's going to lala from the top side. Doesn't mean he finishes on the eagle and a multi, though. Like, for all, for how nice he controlled his Sui, and for uh, the solid Blizz value he's got, there's still a lot of base up. And that's one of the good things about these diamond bases, is that you can perform these Sui's and Blizzards perfectly, but there always is so much base left up. And look at it, the flanking balloons have already died. The eagle hits the balloons so hard as they come out of the water, and look at that. There is not many balloons left anymore. This diamond base is doing wonders here for Crisco. And the loons have gotten to the eagle, but all the loons with the warden are dead, and the eagle artillery is going to stay up, which is always really handy, because it kills the cleanup troops. And uh, look at it. Now, there is 40 seconds left, so we're just going to fast through forward through all of that. But look at the percent that uh, Crisco's about to hold Boom to. And 80, what is it? 83%. Boom hit him and he only lost 27 cups. That's a win in my opinion. So diamond bases may be making a comeback in Clash of Clans. Let's have a look at the final replay I've got for you. Okay, this is Kanar right here. Um, he's in the darkest Muzan clan. I actually haven't seen him in the darkest Muzan lineup before. Um, but he, well, at the moment he's not in the darkest Muzan clan. Because obviously that's not DM there. But uh, he does normally sit there, so I'm pretty sure he's a player for them. Let me know if I'm wrong. Regardless, he is a top player uh, inside the top 100 for most of this season thus far. And therefore, his attack has lots of weight. Look at him also coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo, like Bernal. But he's going to come with a completely different entry here. Instead, coming from the top. So let's see how this charge works out for him. Because obviously, if you can get the Town Hall and like both scatters here... The base is normally wrecked more often than it's not. Now, he has got the blimp selected here, but I can tell you he has got the dragon five loons. I would have loved to have got a replay with like a Yeti bomb queen charge Lalo, but oh well, you can't get everything that you want. Um, but I will say queen charge Lalo is the strongest army in Legends at the moment. Most of the top players this season are running it. So if you can defend queen charge Lalo from multiple top uh, players, then uh, you know your base is something. So Queen's going to go straight into the compartment like she's meant to. So nicely done from her. King's on the bottom side. I don't think he's going to beat the wall, unfortunately. He's just going to keep going around the base. Would have been interesting if you could have used a sneaky gob on maybe this gold mine to try and funnel the Queen in. Anyways, I was so busy looking at the King that I forgot to look at the Queen. And she had to pop her ability. Just so much damage as the clan castle comes out. And uh, look at it. Two ground bows and a scatter as the Queen deals with an ice golem. Actually, two ice golems. And it's just a pain for Kanara here. He's burning through rage spells. Only got two left. There goes one there. But this sweeper is about to get even more annoying here. Look at it. Shooting at the healers. He gets a nice wall break to the town hall. But the queen's losing so much health. RC, he's focusing on her. Because obviously he wants to get that multi down on the right hand side. But that's not going to happen either. And this queen's dead. And the RC is dead. And they did not get a whole lot of value. Now, the Queen was about to get insane value, and the RC could have as well, but it just didn't work out that way for Kanara there, and now he's in self-preservation mode. There comes a million Sams out to greet his troops, so he's already losing a bit of the Lalo there. Now, he does still have the blimp here that he's going to use on the Town Hall. He actually uses it as a slammer. I kind of like that choice from him there. 
because uh, the Slammer will do more damage to the Town Hall than the Blimp Drop will, assuming the Slammer doesn't die immediately. There goes the Warden ability. Nice Nado behind the Town Hall, holding those loons in place, not letting them catch up with the actual Lalo. And look at it. These flanking multis are so annoying to Lalo. Now, we some of the time we forget that, honestly, because on these anti-two bases, all the multis are in the core. Um, so the, the defense is on the very exterior of the base. Honestly, don't do a whole lot to Lalo. It's really the core that destroys you. But on these diamond bases, it's just a completely different animal altogether. Um, I'm not saying diamond bases are necessarily better than anti-twos. I think anti-twos are actually stronger. But so many people in High Legends are running anti-twos. Players like Kanara, Boom, Bernal, will be running into about six or seven anti-twos a day. And if you get to reasonably High Legends and run a base like this, you just might be able to trip them up like we're seeing here. Look at that. 24 cups on defense. This is the reason Crisco was at number two in the world. He was putting up 290s to 300s on offense and taking only, I think he took like two... Sub 200 a couple of days and then sub 240 when he got really up there, which is insane when you're at the very top. So we're going to jump out of this. I've actually got the base as my home base. Um, where do we... There. So that's the base for you all. The base link will be down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the base. Do you think it's not as strong because it's not an anti-2? Are you skeptical? Do I need to show you more replays on it? Let me know your thoughts of it. And do you like seeing me do these base link videos or would you prefer me to do just actual offense and not necessarily defense? Speaking of defense, I am going to do a base build, a basic base building guide at some point. That is coming soon once I finish my exams. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you soon.